late afternoon as we enter the small house halfway up on the next block now. And here in the living room, we find Mrs. Victor Gook and young Mr. Rush Gook. But at this moment, it's heard the voice of Mr. Victor Gook. Listen. You're home, Shane? Yeah. He knows I'm home. I give him an airy wave of the hand. Anybody call me on the telephone? No. Not a soul? No. What's the matter? Oh, I'm in a mess. Move over, Rex. I want to sit down. Something wrong? Let me get my breath here. Uh, nobody from the city hall called, huh, say? Phone hasn't rung all afternoon. I tried to get in touch with Mayor Simmons a while ago, but he wasn't in his office. Just a message with his secretary. What's the matter? I got to go to Chicago. Yeah? With Mr. Rubis. Business. We're to have a conference with two men from New York headquarters tomorrow afternoon. And then on Sunday morning, there's another big shop from Des Moines joining us. Well, I couldn't go along, could I, Gus? No. I don't want to try to get out of it, kiddo, because it's kind of a feather in my cap for the boss to invite me. He generally takes like me supper with him when he goes on a trip like this. Well, what would you want to try to get out of it for? What would I want to try to get out of it for? Yeah. Well, don't you know? No. Sunday's decoration day. I'm in charge of the parade. Oh. Doggone it, doggone, doggone luck. Why couldn't these company officials get together some other weekend? Any other weekend? You'll have to miss your parade. Miss my parade? How can there be a parade? You mean... Well, you... I mean I'm in charge of the parade. Huh? I've arranged all the details. I've worked out the itinerary. I've coordinated the line of march. I've done everything. I've got three pencil tablets chucked full of notes. How can I have a parade without me? Oh. Mm, it's a mess from beginning to end. When do you leave for Chicago? First thing in the morning. We get there around 10 o'clock and meet these New York guys at noon. Then on Sunday, we have another conference. I won't be able to get a train out of Chicago till after 1 o'clock. That means I won't pull in here till around 4 in the afternoon. Mm. Mm, the mirror's going to fall down in a dead faint when he hears this. Why? Why? The citizens of this town are looking forward with pride and pleasure to having this Decoration Day parade. Now, there won't be any Decoration Day parade. Well, goodness, I'd think, after all, a parade is... I've got the whole thing in my pocket, see, kiddo? Everything's been left exclusively to me. When I'm gone, the whole thing will be paralyzed and at a standstill. Well, I should think they could have... I'm going to call up again. Mayor's office? Yeah. Might as well break the sad news and get it over with. I bet he goes right through the ceiling. <laughs> I don't be mad at me, Vic, but I bet they go ahead and have their parade. How can they? Well, I don't see how one measly little fella can hold up a whole city from enjoying their decoration day. I'm the one little measly fella. <laughs> well, I didn't mean it that way, but goodness, all the people got to do is line up and march out to the cemetery. Line up and march out to the cemetery. That's your idea of all there is to a parade, huh? Well, no, but I should think almost anybody... Do you see this pencil tablet? No. And this pencil tablet? No. And this one? Mm Mm-hmm. They're all plumb full of notes. I've spent hours of work on this thing. Hours of work. Well, yes, I know. And if you were going to be in town, I bet there'd be the nicest decoration day parade that ever was. But since you're not going to be in town, I doubt if they'll call the parade off altogether. What else can they do? Line up and march out to the cemetery, just like they always do. Oh, for gosh. <laughs> well, man. I must say, I admire your attitude, Sage. Your husband comes home facing a desperate crisis, and you think it's funny. Don't so see where the desperate crisis comes in, after Excuse all. Excuse me, I'm going to phone the mayor. If you are my opinion. I doubt. Uh, four or five hundred, please. Yes. I'm going to come right out with it and not feed around the bush. I'm going to say... Mayor Simmons, a business emergency has arisen that cannot be avoided. I leave for Chicago tomorrow morning and cannot return until Sunday afternoon. Uh-huh. No, oh, it'll be a shock to him. He may get mad. But it's not my fault. I can't help it. You just have to appreciate that a man's job comes first. Uh-huh. Be a pretty dreary old decoration day around here Sunday without any parade, won't it? Sure <laughs> well. Why don't they answer their dog? Uh, uh, hello, uh, Mary's office. Uh, this is V.R. Gook speaking. Gook. G-O-O-K. I called earlier this afternoon. Yes. Yeah. Has uh, Mary Simmons come back yet? 
I see. Well, uh, will you be sure to have him phone me the minute he arrives? It's very important. Yes, you have my number. Aha. All right, then. Thanks very much. Right. He's probably out shooting some golf. I understand almost you know, there may be a ray of hoop. Yeah? Yeah, listen, I can get a train out of Chicago Sunday a little bit after 1 o'clock. Gets me in here around 4. Well? well how about postponing the parade till then? Till 4 o'clock in the afternoon? Sure. I tell you what, you and Rush could meet me at the station with my lodge robe and my plumed hat and my boots and medals and so forth. And I could change my clothes in a taxi cab while we dashed for Mulberry Street. Of course, the parades would all be notified to be there and ready to march. They'd never do it. Who would The people. What people? People that march in the parade. They'd never do what? Get together that close to supper time and march out to the cemetery. Why not? Well, because they wouldn't. There's picnics on Decoration Day and shows. Besides, who wants to walk clear off to the cemetery in the dark? Is it dark at four o'clock? It'll be dark by the time you got there. Don't you think the people would rather have their parade at four o'clock in the afternoon than not have any parade at all? I think they'll have their parade at the regular time. Without me? Oh, yes. How can they? Meet at Mulberry Street at ten o'clock, line up and march out to the cemetery. Oh, for gosh sakes, I say it. Sometimes I wonder if your head is... Go away, Rush, I'll answer it. I wasn't going to answer it. Hello? Yeah. It is Mercy Mint. Who is it? Oh, well, is the mayor... Huh? What I want with him? I'm V.R. Gook. I'm in charge of the Decoration Day Parade. But you mean the mayor don't place my name? Oh, that right? Well, look, you can tell Mayor Simmons that business takes me out of the city over Sunday and I will not be able to handle the parade. Yeah. Bye. Who's that? Oh, some fathead down at the city hall said the mayor didn't place my name. Always thought that mayor was a two-faced half-wit. He got the last vote of mine he'll ever get. Where are you going? Out on the back porch steps and breathe some fresh air. Gov, why don't you let me take your place in the parade? Oh, go lay down. I could do it okay. All you have to do is line the people up and march out to the cemetery. You shouldn't tease your father. I wasn't intending to tease him. I'll get it. Uh, is that the phone? Yes. Hello. Yes, this is the Gook residence. No, this is Rush Cook speaking. Who is it? I don't know yet. Who? Oh, I see. Is it for me? It's at City Hall. Uh, then it's for me. Hand me the phone. The fellow's talking. Yeah? Huh? Give me that telephone. Just a second. I'll connect you with my father. He's the party I think you want to speak to. Here you go. What's the idea? No idea to it. Phone rang and you were out of the room, so I answered it just like any human. Hello? Yes, I'm C.R. Gook. Oh, is that right? Yes, I'd be glad to talk to him. Oh, I see. Ha-ha. <laughs> okay. It's the mayor's secretary again. I'm going to talk to the mayor personally in a minute. He's probably sorry he got the name mixed up. Yeah. Oh, fine fella, that mayor. Good scout all the way through. Hey, you know what his secretary just told me? What? The mayor's going to take charge of the parade itself. Oh, really? Yeah. See what an important job it is? Uh Uh-huh. I'm going to suggest to Mayor Simmons that him and I stay up all night tonight. What for? So we can pour over all these notes I got. I'll give him the benefit of all the work I've done. He's a smart fellow and can follow my instructions to the letter. This town's going to have just as good a parade as if I were here in person. I'll coach Mayor Simmons in the thousand and one detail. Uh, uh, hello, uh, Mayor Simmons. <laughs> yeah, secretary just told me. <laughs> oh, that is all right. Uh, listen, Mayor, my train don't leave till tomorrow morning. We got all night long to lay our plans out for the parade. Now, uh, I suggest we get together in a hotel room. <laughs> what? How you mean? Oh. Oh, I see. Hmm. I see, Mayor Simmons. Okay, sir. Bye. What's the matter? The fat head. What do you say? The fat head. Don't he want to stay up all night? No, he's going to bed. Isn't he going to take charge of the parade? Not even going to be at the parade. Got an engagement to play golf. 
Well, how's he going to take charge of the parade, then? Going to put a piece in the newspaper. Yeah? 